it is time to go to the bathroom out in the wild for the first time. Feeling weird about it, but oh well, what you gonna do? It's a bit of a happy vibe, so peaceful, so quiet. I love it. So it's our first morning here at Joshua Tree. We're having breakfast. Zoe is making Aussie second breakfast and we're just gonna get ready to go meet up with our friends and we're gonna get to explore Joshua Tree today. Ozzy is loving being here. He loves the fact that it's so quiet. Um, there's, you know, there's people around but they're so far away that he can't really see them. So his anxiety is like completely gone at the moment. So we are feeling really good because he's feeling great. So get ready for the day. <laughs> Joshua Tree. Uh, what is it with his hands that I he keeps know. doing? So we are leaving Joshua Tree right now and we agreed that this is the most beautiful landscape that we've seen so far in our travels, even more so than Colombia. I didn't know California was gonna be so beautiful. When we were driving here and we crossed from Arizona to California, we were both already amazed by the landscape. I particularly like the, the desert by what it's called, or the atmosphere, the temperature. The promise that I made myself is that I want to come back here with a motorcycle because this is like, like look at it. This is where a motorcycle should be. Now we're gonna go to Pioneer's Town. Then after that, we'll just head to our campsite again. from earlier that week. There's a puddle under and I'm like, oh no, the puddle was already there. And I was like, was it? I hope it's not our van. Nothing wrong with the Nothing yet. We left California, got into Arizona. We're feeling good. Oh, a little sad. We're leaving California. We'll come back. I noticed weird things on the van, like the overdrive was not turning off with some weird noise coming from the transmission i'm like eh, it's an old van then i pulled up in a gas station and it was kind of chugging and i saw smoke coming out of the from under the van thought was i blew the transmission we're fucked but it's not necessarily that dramatic so now change of plans we're stuck in quartzsite arizona it's a saturday and we're gonna find a repair shop and sleep in a hotel and figure this shit out i'm really worried i guess this is part of the adventure adventure time so we're still feeling very much stuck in quartzsite arizona it's not like um, we feel we are <laughs> yeah just call the shop for the second time that is three minutes away from here i'm gonna bring the van to this shop and see what's up i booked the hotel for today but we have to wait until three to check in so we're just chilling here in the van we also tested out our starlink and it works so that's something good i guess trying to keep our spirits up hopefully we'll be able to fix it fairly quickly and just continue our trip as soon as possible we'll go so we have fleas mm -hmm. oh. he doesn't have fleas Brought the van to this mechanic shop. The guy works on his own timeline. And then at some point he disappeared. I didn't know what to do. So I just waited. He came back 45, 50 minutes later. He was like, oh yeah, I was having breakfast at 11.30. At point he was flying a kite. It was an Iron Man themed kite. And he was flying it with a fishing pole. He's like, the trick is to use a fishing pole so you can get it back. <laughs> like, he removed the uh, transmission filter. I worked as an assistant in the meantime because he was under the van 
and he was like oh i didn't bring the one the quarter inch socket i was like i'll go get it so i was passing him tool uh, we found out that the uh, oil filter was very very dirty the filter is like clogged and then he told me well I, I gotta head out because i need to go get the new oil that you need and i'll go get lunch i'm like we just had breakfast one hour ago but whatever i respect this this man is a professional, but I think I need to keep pushing him. He just called us at 9.45 and asked Zoe to come to the shop. I think they're, they're just about to start to work on the van. Now, this was definitely a big hiccup for us financially and also just time-wise. Ozzy has been very stressed and overwhelmed in this hotel. There's too many sounds, too many people moving around. Not even the medicine is helping right now at this point, so... So I went outside expecting him to pick me up with his truck to go to the shop and he was here with Ray, short for Raymond, the van. I was like, what's happening? And he was like, ha, ah, I got you. He explained to me what was happening. There is some damage to the transmission. It does feel a little, eh, like it makes some weird noises. Shifting is 100%. So I think that once we get back to Florida, maybe we'll think about replacing the transmission. But until then, we'll, we'll drive these 2,000 miles and keep our fingers crossed. So we are currently at a Walmart parking lot. We are still having some issues with the van. Basically, it's stuck on second gear. Actually, no, first. And the overdrive light is on. I'm starting to feel very anxious and overwhelmed now. So for now, we are at Walmart. So I'm just going to edit the video that I was working on yesterday. At least that's something good. I'm having a lot of fun editing the videos. I hope you are enjoying them as well. Ozzy's eating his peanut butter and we're just trying to stay positive <laughs> as much as we can. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next video as we make our way back to Florida. Let's go down to the